I would like just to, to go and give you the basic uh, rules for how this uh, debate works. Um, you may see there are three boards, something like three boards. So the major board that is in front of you, uh, above a pigeon, he <laughs> is, um, uh, it describes the, uh, the, the, the uh, basic, let's say, concept, the basic idea of uh, what is the debate uh, uh, thing, the b debate object uh, that uh, we would like to discuss today. On your left-hand side, there's a board in which the basic uh, question of the debate is posed. Side, you can see uh, another board of one in which uh, uh, seven links uh, provided these links to you, um, so you can uh, directly go to the you know by clicking one, double clicking in each one of them, you can directly go. Uh, it will take you to the uh, to the web through your web browser uh, where you can see some information about uh, that is relevant to the debate, and we think that. Uh, would be useful during the course of this uh, talk, of this discussion, and um, I'll just give you the background. Uh, if something, uh, if, if there's something that you, you you really you're not aware of, or you would like to more information about, for instance, um, given that the topic is uh, the, in a few words, the crisis in the euro in the EU. Is, and the EU in general, um, you know, the key players, perhaps in this crisis, a kind of summary of who are the key players uh, is something important that uh, we would like to know. Sometimes you might uh, use, someone might use, uh, you know, acronyms or something like that, that you may not be aware of what these acronyms mean. For instance, uh, IMF or so. So uh, you can still, uh, get about that. Yeah. Right. So I guess now that we get to the discussion, unless you have a specific question. If there's any question, just, just let me know. But I'll give you the call. Hopefully, you can start uh, discussing about uh, this topic to give your views and exchange views in general. Yeah, for starters, we can start with uh, with uh, using the the, pop, the bar that you have to uh, to indicate whether you agree or not, and then probably we can uh, make the measure the, the the discussion more specific. Okay, so. Um just to clarify, to vote on the carpet, um, everyone must stand in, in the place he believes, he agrees or not, and uh, push the, the button that says push to vote, it's on the top of the screen, so as to, to make a vote. So you know the current uh, the current situation in the in the carpet shows that people are yeah, most of the people disagree, and when I say most, I'm talking about five people disagreeing, whereas four people seem to agree or being in a kind of neutral position with these measures. Uh, are there any similar examples from the countries that you are coming from, for instance? Yeah, uh, hi, I'm I'm from India actually. The same scenario holds good in India as well, and most of the Asian countries, I guess. So, taxation is not helping up in development as well in yeah. India. I mean, that's great. So, uh, from any other countries, any such uh, experiences? Yes, uh, I'm from Mexico, and I think, uh, well, taxes, increasing taxes is not a good um, solution for people because uh, the jobs are not increasing, and uh, just getting more and more and more taxes is, is, this leads the people to go to the informal economy rather than go and have a, a, a good job and pay taxes for it. They just get... Uh, jobs uh, without 
any kind of social security and things like that in order not to pay taxes and increase their their amount of money well that's in my experience right so we do have uh, some common experience seems here so it's kind of a trend that uh, um, that this thing is happening uh, i mean uh, also in the case of uh, uh, of argentina which is i think something that you might be aware of um, uh, this led to huge uh, social uh, problems and to eventually the the country defaulting uh, is that is that the case are you aware of that uh, yes uh, well i think that this should be another kind of solutions um, but um, I don't know. I think I think also that um, nowadays the, the jobs are not increasing, and this leads to uh, people not getting uh, money and not being satisfied. So, getting taxes paid is is more difficult. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, an issue is that uh, there are, there are uh, developing economies, like for instance India, I guess, uh, yeah. in which the states actually they, they do have um, some kind of uh, cash flow. Um, I mean, at least in comparison to the EU member states <laughs> currently, is that, is that the case? Is India able to invest, for instance, to the European uh, Union and bail them out from from their troubles? No, I mean, uh, all the taxation, the management of tax uh, money which we get from the taxes in India is pretty worse. I mean, they are not able to manage the uh, money what they collect from people and they are not even self-sufficient to serve the people of India. And thus, I guess, I mean, uh, they, it makes no point of investing in EU and getting off no way. No, India, India, uh, India lacks the management of tax, taxed money. So that's what is happening. Lots of uh, uh, money is not being managed well in India. The taxed money. We pay heavy taxes, but the return of the management of those taxed money and the returns is almost null. Right. So, so um, would you think that uh, it would be better, for instance, for each country on their own to invest in their own? Uh, um, social policy, there is such uh, policy, and uh, so as to, you know, to keep people happy and uh, steer growth through um, you know, through this direction, like um, people being happy by uh, getting what they deserve to get from what they're paying, and uh, uh, and help them through the, this way to uh, become more productive, for instance, or um, you know, more, yeah, more productive, I would say, in this case. Uh, well, yeah, and also I think that that it's necessary to to let know people how how this income is distributed um, in the government because sometimes there is this feeling that this money paid is not well used. I mean, it's uh, only for pay um, for the people uh, working in the government, but it's not really invest in new technology and new things uh, for the country. Uh, well, these kind of investments can make um, and generate more more jobs and more more uh, more money for for the country. It, it seems to me that uh, this is a, a kind of it's a global problem, and it appears everywhere. And uh, from what I hear you people saying, uh, this, these are things that I haven't really heard before, is that um, uh, this kind of issues, that they exist everywhere um, in the whole world. So do you think that uh, um, this is a problem that really doesn't concern only the EU countries, but uh, it also concerns uh, the, the rest of the world? Yeah, I agree with that. It's 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 not just I mean uh, from the point of Asian view I agree with what you have said it's it's more like a global problem than just limited to the EU. And definitely many uh, countries around the world have a several uh, similar problem w with uh, the loans and their debt their external debt so it's a, a global crisis uh, so the measures should, should be global the the way to get out of this crisis should be global. We should see it in a universal way, I mean.
I was just wondering how, as a student, affect us. I mean, the uh, the policies and the topic we are discussing. I was just wondering how a student like me or more of us in this room uh, affect us. Like, someone can please put uh, some light on that. Is it cheaper to go to university in India than come here? Yeah, way cheaper. But the quality is not as what we are getting here. So that's what matters. I think that's really an issue for international students because if the taxes, not only here but in the uh, European Union, are going to increase uh, and the cost of education is going to increase, uh, well, it's that it's bad. It's bad for us because we are not then allowed to come and and invest our money here in education, and this will decrease the the, the people coming to the European Union uh, to study. Um, because of course it's, it's more it's more cheap to study in our, in our countries, but we are looking for another quality. Uh, but with this kind of inc and if increases, is is really difficult for us to come. So there, there's a very interesting question in this case. If you believe that um, if if the tax money were going to uh, to to the improvement of the education, uh, whether that would lead into a long-term bailout rather than going directly to the to the uh, to the paying of the of the debt, uh, do you think that a long-term solution would be, for instance, to investing in people and education in general, uh, even even if that m meant uh, to keeping the the tax levels as high as they are now, um, in order to, uh, to to bail out the countries by you know producing people well educated, uh, better educated. Or even uh, like uh, the UK is doing, the attract people from abroad to educate, like a kind of um, investment there, um, rather than uh, using the money for paying for all the debts. Uh, well, I think um, that would be a good, um, well, not all the solution, of course, but that would be a really good point to to create this um, this investment from international students on education, uh, because I'm I'm aware that many people in Greece uh, comes here to the UK, but rather than come here, the, that people can uh, have good education in the country and invest that money in the country instead of um, well spend it in another country. So um, I would like to somehow pose a final question uh, that uh, that would probably vote using the bars again, and keep it as a final conclusion. Um, and that, that that question is uh, whether you think that uh, less students will then come. I mean, given the austerity measures that uh, that are taking place in the whole world, and uh, especially in Europe, uh, whether this will affect. Uh, the education as well in Europe, and whether you think that less students will come from abroad to the EU countries and the UK in, in, uh, specifically, which is uh, the highlight of this uh, of this practice, uh, less students will come from abroad to the EU countries to to study. So, uh, can you place the bars just to indicate the, your thoughts? Uh, you know, the extreme right is the deep red, the extreme green is the um, yeah, is uh, agree. Um, of course, you can always stand in the middle if you want. Right. Th Bernard also wrote the question because I, I made a huge prologue to. <laughs> To introduce to you, so you can see it was written there. But I guess that that I mean, it, it's kind of obvious that uh, you all believe that uh, um, you agree that fewer students will come to the UK and the EU to study following the certain measures. <laughs> 